Good day, everybody. My name is Joseph Arenas. I am here today to discuss about traditional African music and its sub branches. African music is filled with interesting melodies and exciting rhythms. African music contains the musical sounds, characteristics, and practices of all indigenous peoples of Africa. It is widely acknowledged that African music has undergone a lot of changes to its characteristics that is why it is very unique. Because of its changes that it has undergone, sub-branches, which are contemporary musics of the day, has been born and even modified to some extent. The characteristics of their music is very diverse and singular. Features of traditional African music Below are the features and characteristics singular to this type of music. Yodeling is one of those features. Yodeling is when you change or transition from normal chest voice to falsetto. Africans use different sounds that are seldom used in contemporary music. Shouting, humming, and imitating animal sounds are examples of different sounds used by Africans. Africans has also this call and response style of singing where a leader sings a phrase and is answered by all members in chorus. This style of singing is similar to the responsorial psalm in a mass, especially in a high mass. Participative music making is the most different characteristic between African and Western music. It is where spectators and band members both create music. Other forms of expression can be in a form of drama where the script is sung. A good example of this is a play. Most traditional African musicians mostly don't apply Western rhythm standards since they see rhythm as a part of human life. It represents people's independence. It is common practice among Africans to use polyrhythm. Polyrhythm is the use of two or more independent and contrasting rhythms simultaneously. Music theory is mostly rules and regulations of the Western contemporary music, which almost all musical artists follow today. Traditional African artists follow otherwise because of their perspective in rhythm. What you have heard is called a 3 against 2 polyrhythm. A triple over double time signature with 3 note rhythm in a 2 note pattern. A polyrhythm is also called cross rhythm wherein there is a simultaneous combination of contrasting rhythms in a musical composition. A drummer can be playing in a 2 against 3 time signature while the guitarist can be playing the same composition the drummer is playing in 8 against 3 time. Polyrhythm is frequently used in traditional African music. Tumbler of African music African music uses a lot of different vocal ranges and vocal sounds that is why their music is very unique. They also use the quick shift of baritone voice to a falsetto while singing. Africans use yodeling in their music compositions and different types of sounds when they are singing. Texture of African music African music is either homophonic or polyphonic. Some genres of music such as blues, spirituals, soul, and maracatu have some African influences. Traditional African music is usually accompanied by voice with instruments or voice with other voices like in a choir. 
some Western contemporary music have been influenced by traditional African music. Blues is an African-American genre that emerged in the southern states of America. Its characteristics and formula of how to apply in can be found in the blues scale. Notes in the blues scale are called bent notes. Before explaining to you what is on the video, I will first define blues. Blues is a genre from African Americans that has distinct characteristics derived from traditional African music. It uses the blues scale, that is why it has a distinct flavor and is defined as a singular genre in music. Blues scale can be compared to a formula in mathematics to create or solve a problem. In this case, the blues scale is used as a guide to create a musical composition. It is from the pentatonic scale added with another note. The video presented is an example of a blues scale in C, the one played on the picture shown here. The video presented is an excerpt of a solo from Back in Black by ACDC. The solo introduces vibratos, a tremulous effect from an instrument, and bending of the string to produce a different timbre compared to sliding a note to the next. Blues encompasses a lot of bending, that is why the flat notes shown on the scale are called bend notes. Spiritual, religious folk song that existed outside an established church. Negro spirituals, these are Christian songs created by African Americans. Spiritual music can be compared to non-religious music but still about the Lord. Negro spirituals are songs about the Lord made by African Americans. Soul is a genre of music that emphasizes the emotionality of the music. It is also a combination of gospel music, jazz, and R&B. Soul is a genre of music that focuses on the emotion in a musical composition. It can be compared to an art form called expressionism where the artist give emphasis on the emotion felt. Maracatu is a distinct rhythmic performance genre popular in Brazil but originates in the musical characteristics made by the African slaves. Maracatu is a music from Brazil made by African slaves. Thank you everyone for watching and listening to my report. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.